Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. Today we are going to be doing, hold on, today we are going to be comparing the Sonya G Pro Eye Set to the, to what I found to be kind of dupes um, in Morphe brushes. Um, I basically went by the, what the hair is made of, although it doesn't really tell you on the Morphe website, it just says natural, so it could be literally anything. I have no idea where these brushes come from, but they are natural hair, except for one of them is synthetic. We'll get to that. The Sonya G Pro eye set is currently available on Beautylish. It was sold out for a while. It is $150 for the set. If you buy the brushes individually, it's still $150. Um, with this set, you get five brushes. They're all made out of Sikoho, Sikoho. I'm probably saying that wrong. Um, goat hair. The brown ones are dyed goat hair, and the white ones are just goat hair. Um, with this set you get the Builder One. This is a brush for packing eyeshadow onto the crease. You get the Blender Pro, which is for blending obviously, kind of a crease shaped brush. You get the Crease Pro, which is also for your crease obviously. The Pencil Pro. This is actually I think my favorite brush in the set. Just the um, shape of it I feel is so unique and the way that it smudges um, underneath the eye is just beautiful. It, it feels like working with like art supplies or something like pastels or something. It's it's just really unique the texture and the way that this blends and I really like the Pencil Pro quite a bit. And then the Worker Pro is the last brush that you get which is just kind of an all-around blending brush. This reminds me a lot of the Wayne Goss 18. The bristles are a little longer on the Wayne Goss 18 but they're very similar in I guess just how they move the the bendiness of them I guess um, and just the shape of them is pretty pretty similar they work very similarly on the eyes oh my god I am like sweating right now I think summer is officially here um, in Southern California I do not do not like the summer at all. I am definitely a winter person. I like wearing winter clothes more uh, in the summer here. There's about 10 times as many people and traffic is horrible and it gets really hot and nowhere has air conditioning. I think because we're committed to this whole like California, it's 70 degrees all the time. It's paradise. We don't need air conditioning, but we do need air conditioning. We really need air conditioning. I'm like sitting on, with my legs folded up under me and there is just this pool of sweat forming in the backs of my knees. I was trying to burn this wood wick candle earlier so it makes like a wood crackling sound like a fireplace when you burn it and I like I couldn't handle the sound of it. It was like so hot I felt like I was burning alive. I was like shut that thing off. But anyways so it's hot. I'm trying to think to be articulate but it's my brain is cooking a little bit right now. Also, all my eyelash extensions have come off. They're still here on this eye, but then on this eye, I'm I'm not really sure what's um what's going on. Yeah, it's been about a week. So I really like them, but I don't know if I'm gonna keep getting them because they just won't stay on my face. Um Okay, so basically I went on the Morphe website. I tried to find shapes that were similar, bristle lanes that was similar. All but one of these is natural hair. Again, I do not know what the natural hair is made out of. It could be stuff that's swept off the floor. It could be pigeons. It could be a damn unicorn for all I know. It's, it just says natural and I tried to Google like what is Morphe synthetic or natural hair and there, nothing. Uh, something came up just saying they were cruelty free, which is cool, but I still, I still would just like to know where where stray cats I I don't know um so yeah I'll I'll talk about Morphe for a little bit um Morphe is I feel like a brand that gets a lot of shit well they either get insanely promoted by influencers or a lot of shade thrown at them um, mostly for lack of quality in their products. Um, I've heard that they are private labeled and they're actually just crown products um, with a Morphe stamp on it. I don't know. I don't know about the beauty industry enough to like 
figure all that stuff out for myself. Um, uh, people get really annoyed because everyone's just like, use code blah 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 for 10% off, Morphe, 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 the best, Morphe. And I will say, I find their advertising very annoying. Like, let's just read the email that they sent me. So when I ordered the brushes, yes, your order blah 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 is confirmed. Hey Lauren, uh, Morphe, nice haul. Hey Lauren, we love what you picked out. We're getting your order ready to ship and we'll let you know when it's on the way. That's not actually that bad, now that I'm saying it. But then when it shipped, Morphe, ship yeah. Hey Lauren, wanna hear some killer news? Morphe babe, your beauty haul has shipped. And then the option to stock your package. I'm just like, you guys, I'm not, I feel like it's very geared towards like, I don't, like teenagers who follow a lot of the bigger influencers just like yes babe haul influencer you slay hot and I'm just like you guys I'm like I hate to break it to you but I'm just it's a 65 year old woman looking for an affordable makeup brush I don't need all the extra stuff I don't know I do enjoy some of their products I have their um, 35B their mocha spice palette and I think that palette is beautiful I like I always love the way that it looks when it's on my eyes I've tried other palettes from them that I have not liked I didn't really like the James Charles palette that everyone went nuts about um, the Jaclyn Hill one is good I tried their like purples palette I didn't really like that I thought it was super patchy um, their brushes I think their brushes have a place and I think that's like really aggressive really aggressive blending like I think that's what they're really they're kind of scratchy um but like that works if you're trying like I have their Morphe M439 brush like this is a buffer brush and I really like this if I have like a thick matte foundation to just it's like a like a Brillo pad kind of for your face the M433 eyeshadow blender brush I mean it's not the most beautiful brush in the world but like if I have a really stubborn eyeshadow that won't blend this always gets it out for me it's not the softest but it's kind of more like your heavy duty brush I like I know that I'm the only person on the planet who feels this way but I really liked their foundation okay and I liked their concealer okay I know no one else did it looked beautiful on my face and it stayed all day I don't know why oops I don't know but it worked for me I'm pretty certain that these brushes are not going to feel as luxurious as the Sonia G brushes um, they're not going to be as soft but they might be able to get the same job done and I think that that's um, you know good to know that there's cheaper options out there so let's get into the dupes here you guys my youtube channel has become i've been outed well i've also outed myself i have kept this channel completely secret for one year just because i i don't know because i did and i made the mistake of following of subscribing to my grammy's youtube channel because yes my grammy also has a youtube channel um because i was like eh, i'll throw her a sub why not and then she found mine and just blew the whole thing up she posted a script she did not text me personally at all she posted a screenshot of this the like my most recent and then a Tasha Denona I think video um on her Facebook story for just the world to see and then she sent me a text the following day that said hey I love your commercials on YouTube um I went ahead and told everyone in our family so that you can go viral love you sweetie and I was just like awesome so I have recently just been not giving a shit and I've just been telling everyone I've become disrobed I've been found out um okay so the dupe that I have for the Sonia G pencil pro is gonna be the Morphe M431 um it's already kind of shedding a little they have really similar um bristle lengths. The Morphe M431 is 9.525 and the Pencil Pro by Sonia G is 9 millimeters. This one is $6. This one is $26. Um, so obviously a lot cheaper. This is natural hair. This is undyed goat hair. Um, again, we don't know what it is. The shape is obviously different. It doesn't have that shape that I like love that. It feels like, um, the smudger that's on the end of 
um, eyeliner pencils. It kind of feels like that, but like, like with eyeshadow, it just kind of smooths it across your under eye. I love it. Also, if you see me looking this direction, it's because I've made a spreadsheet and I'm referencing it. Okay, so the Build -a Builder Pro by Sonya G. This is dyed Sekoho goat hair. Um, the bristle length is 12 millimeters. It is $28. The closest thing I could find for this is the Morphe M166. This is 12.7 millimeters in length for the bristles, so a little bit longer. Also a little bit wider, and I would say like a little flatter too. Um, see the hairs are kind of poking out there, a little natural hair, $5. Next we have the Sonia G Blender Pro. Um, the closest that I could find for this was the Morphe M330. The Blender Pro has kind of a crease shape. It's 18 millimeters in bristle length, dyed Sekoho goat hair, $34. The M330, a little bit longer bristles again, even though it really looks shorter but this is 19 millimeter bristles a little more of a diamond shape i would say than the sonya g one and this is seven dollars next we have the sonya g crease pro these brushes actually turn they looked alike in the pictures online but they don't really look that much alike in person the crease pro 16 millimeters sakoho goat hair um $32. Then the M331 was the closest I could find. This is definitely a lot denser and thicker than this one. Um, and this is 15.875 millimeters, natural hair, $4 on the Morphe website. Lastly, we have the Worker Pro, 14 millimeters. Um, this is Sako Sak Sakoho Goat. $30. The MB13 was the closest I could find. This is the only synthetic haired brush that's in this comparison. Um, it is 12.7 millimeters. Um, definitely a lot wider in shape. Similar widths though. Um, than the Sonya G1 and this is $5 on the Morphe website. So I am now going to put eyeshadow on my face using I will use the Morphe I Okay, full disclosure, I got into a car accident um, like 10 years ago. My ex-boyfriend was driving. Um, my face hit the windshield, so I now have a scar going through my eyebrow onto my eyelid there, which makes it very difficult to blend eyeshadow or to draw on my brows, and I will never forgive that man for ruining my eyebrows. However, I, so it is a little diff more difficult to blend on this side than it is on this side. So I will use the Sonya G's on this side because I've used them before. I know that they can they can handle it. Um, and I'll use the Morphe ones on these just to get a clean comparison. So I'm probably going to fast forward through most of this. And then at the end, I'll do a comparison of how the two worked in comparison to each other. Okay, so using the Worker Pro versus the MB13, this is the only synthetic one that I'm using, so that could be why. I'm already noticing this one is picking up a lot less product, and when I put it on to my eye, it just kind of kicks it around rather than blends it in, whereas the Sonya G one is depositing a lot more of the product onto my eye even with the scar that has ruined my whole makeup life going in now with the morphe m330 on this eye and the blender pro by sonya g on this my bad eye going in with my strong eye with the morphe okay so i'm also by the way using the natasha denona biba palette we're gonna go in with the shade here freckle and just kind of blend that into the crease and up you know, I've gotten kind of um, spoiled, I think. I've gotten used to using, like, the artisan-made Japanese natural hair bl brushes. And um, this kind of feels like like a hairbrush on my face. Like, it feels very scratchy and sharp. Um, I used to be totally fine with them. Never noticed anything wrong. Um, but now I'm ruined. I'm ruined for- I can't go back, I don't think. 
this one I would actually say was comparable to this one. Um, I honestly feel like this side blended a lot better, whereas this one deposited color a lot better. Like I said before, I really think that's Morphe's strength, is just blending things to death. As far as like depositing color and getting the most color payoff, you're going to want more, a little more luxury brushes for that. But this I think blended nicely. It's a good, good crease blender brush. So... And this is again the Morphe M330. Next I'm going to use the Sonia G Crease Pro and the Morphe M331 and I am going to go in with this shade Coco right here and blend that into my crease. Oh wow, that, that did something. My eyelash extensions are just falling out by the fistful right now. I'm going back in with Freckle to kind of smooth this out because it looks awful. Okay, I think this brush could maybe be good for really buffing out a transition shade. This was horrible for the crease, and again, it's a lot less precise looking than this brush. Um, they looked a lot more similar on the website, but it... I mean, this isn't really a good comparison because I don't think that this is what this brush is intended for, but this, this actually, in this case, this did a better job of laying down color, but then it just kind of stuck and it looks a little choppy on this side, um, whereas this was a lot more smooth. Next, we are going to go in with the Packer brushes. We're going to use the Sonia G Builder Pro and the Morphe M166. And I am just going to go back in with that shade Coco and stamp that into the outer third of my eyelid. I will say even with the Sonia G brush, I'm having a little trouble with patchiness. Um, it feels a lot better while it's happening, but this is one of the shades in the Biba palette that I kind of struggle with. It is, however, just a really nice brown shade, so I use it a lot anyways. I'm going to try and go back in with the M330 on the Morphe side and blend out that top a little more. I'm trying, you guys. I'm try I feel like I kind of went into this with a shitty attitude about Morphe, but... I mean, maybe if they had called me babe like one less time, maybe things would have been different, but I don't know. I'm just, I'm really not liking the way this is applying as much. And then I'm going to go in with the pack of brushes again and go in with the shade Tusk on the inner part of my eyelid. Oh wait, I accidentally used the blending brush, so we're actually using the Worker Pro and the MB13. Okay. And then finally, I'm going to go along the lower lash line with the M431 by Morphe and the Sonia G Pencil Pro. I am going to use this shade Freckle and just smudge this along my lower lash line. I love this brush. I love this pencil brush, and I don't even normally really, like care about pencil brushes that much, but this one by Sonia G has, has changed me. You know, the one by Morphe did just as good of a job it wasn't as luxurious but I mean we kind of expect that I'm gonna also go along the outer bit of my lower lash line with the shade Coco I'm gonna go ahead and put some liner on because my eyelashes are already falling off anyways okay so final look this is the Morphe side and this is the Sonia G side so overall I mean I think I was able to get the same pretty much look on both sides. This side is a little bit patchier, which I could attribute to the fact that I tried to use this in the crease, and this is the M331, and I don't think that's what it's intended for. I think it's more of a blending or a pat. I don't really know. I don't like this brush. I don't know what it was intended for. Um, I also really did not like as far as the blenders go, I did not like the MB13 as a dupe for the Worker Pro. But aside from that, I mean, and I, some of it is just like I tried to go by bristle length and I tried to go by natural hair and, you know, maybe that's not the best way to find a, a dupe for the brush. Maybe it's more going into the store, comparing how they feel, comparing shapes. But I do think you can get a pretty similar look, especially if you went and handpicked out the brushes that you wanted. Um, I did enjoy... I enjoyed the pencil brush from Morphe probably the most, the M431. The M166, this did the job. Um, it felt horrible, but it did the job. And I liked the M330 as well. Um, so basically, overall, I feel that you can 
it's not going to be as luxurious. You might have to put some more work into it. Um, I'm not claiming to be like amazing at eyeshadows or anything and like, wow, if I struggled with this, like anyone would. Like, I'm not. I'm not an artist. I'm not a makeup artist. I'm not. Eyeshadow is not my forte. I, I can do a, a mean face of foundation, let me tell you what, but not. Eyeshadow is not my thing. Um, so, in general, I just struggled. The Sonia G Pro set makes it a lot easier for me than working with, say, a cheaper brush, like a Morphe brush. However, like, I do think you can get pretty similar looks on either side. It's just not going to be as pleasant while you're doing it, but you'll also save a lot of money. So, that's it, you guys. That's my comparison. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know your thoughts. Be sure to like and subscribe. How do you guys feel about Morphe? Um... Let me know. Let me know in the comments section and I'll catch you guys all next time. Mwah.